Hello guys, so this is walk number three and today we will continue with another version of Sherlock Holmes that pretty old version of it which is uh, the Hound of the Baskervilles in 1959 and for the Hound of the Baskervilles the audience follow like Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson as they investigate the mysterious death of like Sir Charles Baskerville and we also heard about the myth that the Baskerville family is cursed by some type of like demonic hound and follow from generation to generation and Sherlock Holmes and his psychic go on a mission to protect Sir Henry Baskerville like one of the last person from the Baskerville family and also have to discover the truth behind the mysterious like the events around the movie and in this movie Sherlock Holmes was played by uh, Peter Cushing, Cushing who perfectly embodying the detective's sharp intellect and good observation skills and he plays a strong and intriguing role which I believe uh, has somewhat like portrayed the character that Arthur Conan Doyle Doyle has created in his novels. As every Sherlock Holmes series, we always see Dr. Watson as a talent and loyal partner, a strong support for Holmes throughout the movies, and I think this version from Andre Morrow is not an exception. I'm not a big fan of old movies, however, I feel like the older version like the older they get, the more scary and tension they will put in for the audience. And I just have like a sense like those old movies will have the atmosphere that fit with like mystery genre, like black and white, noir, or like low quality camera, like old quality camera back then. It is perfect for like creating like suspense and a little bit scary vibe for the audience, especially in this movie when the Baskerville family stick with like the Baskerville family with some like curse from the past. The direction is just a highlight of the film where they're combining like suspense and a little bit of horror for the for this movie. This creates like a more atmospheric and suspenseful film, like uh, make it different from the more straightforward detective narratives common in classic Hollywood films. And for a movie in 1959, I think it was interesting to use like the antagonist or the villain as the woman, which is. So, so, is uh, Stapleton, sorry for my um, uh, presentation. Her plan was to seduce seduce Henry and kill him to take his assets and make which make this become like an outstanding character for the genre where we usually see like man will be the antagonist and become villain and kill somebody like that but in this movie it's different because the woman is the antagonist who tried to kill the the man and create every like plan and everything like that and just like any typical mystery films this movie embody classic hollywood narratives by follows the journey of Sherlock holmes and dr watson to investigate the mysterious case at baskerville hall where they face numerous challenges solve the mystery and then bring the truth to the light overall i think this version creates like some type of hunting and intense atmosphere combined with good acting skill by Peter Cushing and the cast. I feel like this would be a close version to uh, Sherlock Holmes one in the novel, like where we see like how the real detective would be like in the movie, even though in my opinion it is not as, as interesting as the one by Robert Downey Jr. that I just talked about in the previous one because I think like the more modern that we came to, like the actor will become more flexible and they will create, they will put more like ad lib to the movies, which, which I think will make the audience become more like, how you call it, mm, surprised with like, they have to expect something like unexpected, you know? <laughs> and I feel like the movie, the uh, they will keep this, they will still keep the old version of it, but like they will add something new to make the audience become more engaged with the movie in general. So yeah, in and this is the vlog number three for me for the Hound of the Baskerville. I think it was a good movie, even though it kind of slow pace and I'm not really enjoying it compared to the last one. But that's my opinion for this one. Thank you so much and see you guys on the next one.